Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be putting together our wrench assembly. We created all the parts in the last lecture and in this lecture, we are going to be putting everything together. To explain how to create this assembly, if you look, we have nine Allen wrench in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And each Allen wrench are different size. As you can see, this is size one, size two, size three, and so on. So what I want you to do is bring in nine wrench and make them the same way we have this and make sure each Allen wrench are different size. So starting from the left, you have size one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And next, we'll look at how we can do this. Thanks. To create this Allen wrench assembly, the first thing I did is open all my parts. You can see all my parts here. And that will make it easy for me to bring each part in. So next, I will click on New. Select Assembly and click OK. Because I have all my parts open, and you can see all of them here, and in case if you don't have yours open, you can just click browse and you'll be able to browse to where you saved your file and select it and click open and you'll be able to bring it in the same way. Since I have my eyes open here, the first part I want to bring in is the base. So I'll select the base and I'll just click this check mark up here to bring it in. There you go. The next part I'm going to bring in is the pins. So I'll click and set, select the pin. If you want to bring in a part multiple time, click this keep visible and I can click once to add that and I can click once again to add the second one. And once I'm done, I'll click OK. So now let's mate this to mate. We'll select mate, select this face and we'll also select the circular face. And it's going to add a concentric mate and click OK. Then we'll select this face and this face. And that is how we make that. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Select this face, circular face, and the circular face. Remember, we are making the circular face to the circular face. Click OK. Then we can make this face to this face and click OK. And we can click OK again. The next part we are going to bring in is the washers. So we want two washers here. So let's click and set components. Click washer. Again, I'll click keep, I'll click keep visible. Select there. So add it twice and click OK. I'll select mate. I select the circular face and that circular face to mate. Click OK. Now select this face and this face. And select OK. I do the same thing with this. Select that circular face and this circular face. Click OK. This face and this face. And click OK. And I'll click OK again. Next, we want to bring in our Allen wrench. We'll select Insert Components. Select your Allen wrench. Again, I'll select this to keep it visible. And to bring in the different configurations of your Allen wrench, on that configuration, we can see our configuration here. And you can select the different size you want to bring in. I want to bring in 1 to 6. Select one, change that, two, change the configuration, three, four, five, and six. And once I'm done, I'll click OK. So we have the Allen range size one to six. Next, we can come to View, Hide and Show, 
and show temporary axis. And that is going to show the temporary axis going through those Allen range. Next, we can click mate. And we'll mate this center axis to that to make it concentric. We'll do the same thing over here. Click OK. Do the same thing here. Click OK. Do the same thing here. Click OK. So I'm clicking that axis and I'm mating it to this axis so they are all coincident and click OK. So we have all those axes now. Now we can mate the side to side. So select this side. You want to mate it to this face. Good. Click OK. Then I'll select this face. And I want to mate it to this face. Click OK. Now select this face. Now I want to mate it to this face. Click OK. Now select this face. Now I want to mate it to this face. Click OK. And now select this face. Now I want to mate it to this face. Click OK. So we have all of our Allen wrench here. All made together. Now we can now mate it to this part. To do that, first let's mate the center axis to that center axis. So I'll select that axis and I'll mate it to this and click OK. So now this is on the same center axis as that. Good. So let me drag it back out. Now let's select advanced mate. We want to select the width. And for the first selection, we'll select this face and that face. Make sure you, you are still in that first selection so you can see there are two selections in there. And in the tab selection, we'll select this face and this face. So what that's going to do it, it is going to put that Allen wrench between those two face and click OK. And that is how we create that first one. So you can see we have all of our Allen wrench here and you can feel free to drag them around anywhere you want. So we have our Allen wrench size one to six. For the front, we want to bring in our Allen wrench size seven to nine. So we'll click in set components, select your Allen wrench, and we'll select size seven. And click insert component, select Allen wrench. I will click this pin. I forgot to click that pin to hold it. Now select size eight. Put that over here and change this to nine. Now put that over there and click OK. And now I'm going to select mate again. I'm going to mate this axis to this axis. Click OK. This axis to this axis. Click OK. Then I'll mate this face to this face, click OK, and this face, to this face, and OK. Again, we want to put this in the center of this. we we'll come to Advance, we'll select Width. For the first selection, we'll select the two widest face, which is this two face. Then for the tab selection, we'll select the two inside face, which is this two face. And click OK. There's one thing we need to do is um, we need to make this to that. So let me just close all that. And now I can click mate. And I want to mate this axis to that axis and click OK. Now I click OK again. 
and we've complete this part we have all of our allen wrench in and there you go and that is how you create this part i hope the steps are pretty straightforward if you need any help with this please leave a comment and i'll surely get back to you and thank you guys i will see you in the next tutorial bye